This is my dodgy review of the Philips Perfect Care 7000. So what is a steam generator or a steam station iron? Basically it's a lightweight uh, iron as you can see. It's connected via a large hose to a big uh, steam generating unit. The unit holds in this case 1.8 litres of water. Um, so somewhere around two litres of water. So you're not having to top it up if you're doing a big load of ironing, which is great. It generates as much steam as you want really, pretty much constant steam for the whole time. You can trigger it by pressing the trigger there or you can set it to auto. When you set it to auto, it will generate steam while it's moving and then stop. You might notice that you can leave the iron face down on the board, which uh, really messed with my head after 50 years of conditioning that I burned something. It's surprisingly good actually because you don't have to keep bending your wrist. So this is the instruction manual that came with it. Um, I found it a little bit tricky. It's mostly in pictures, very few words. It has interesting information like do not iron a human being. Good to know. So this is the ironing unit itself. So you can see the sole plate there. It's really uh, frictionless almost. There's the trigger and that's the auto button. This is the long hose that transports the steam from the base unit up to your iron. It sits back on the unit like that. Click it in, it's locked in. Just turning it around and that's the power button. When you press it on, the power light will flash. So we'll do that. Need a bit of electricity, that'd help. There we go, pressing it on. So now it's flashing. And there's a light on top of the iron itself that will flash as well. When it stops flashing, it means it's reached the required temperature and you can start ironing. This is the water tank, which holds 1.8 liters. Easy to pull out and you can see that you just add water there up to the maximum fill line. It's recommended not to go past that or you can get some issues with leaking and things. This is the decalcification. Don't even know what you call it, but you wash it. <laughs> I use uh, deionized water. So this is my setup. I actually have mine on the floor because my ironing board couldn't take the weight. There we go. So we're just switching it on there. You can see the light flashing. And there you can see the light flashing on the iron itself. Power cord's long enough to reach up while it sits on the floor. If you've got a bigger ironing board, you could put it on the end. If you press and hold the power button for two seconds, you get maximum steam. So apparently you can use that for about 15 minutes if you've got really heavy things. Okay, so this is a shirt that obviously my kids hung on the line. It's completely <laughs> creased. Now, I am not an ironer, so please don't judge my technique here. I know it's bad. That's what happens when your mum irons your clothes for the first 20 years of your life. So you can see the steam coming out there, and you can actually use it as a steamer. So you don't have to use it on a board. You can hang your clothes and use it like a steam thingy. Now, I don't know why I'm ironing so fast here. It's kind of like I'm a monkey on meth, but anyway. Now you can see the cord is catching the end of the shirt. That's basically because I've set up awkwardly to film. But you can avoid that just by positioning yourself correctly. Glides so easily and yeah, just blasts through the wrinkles. Much, much quicker than my regular iron. And it's so light. There we go. racing through there. Okay, I think I calmed down at this point. So just showing you how it glides and the amount of steam being produced there, which is quite a bit. You can see it's still rolling up at the bottom because of that cord. So I'm just ironing uh, one side of the shirt, but I'll show you a little bit. You can actually iron both sides at one time. It even works for jeans, especially if you use the maximum steam setting. Now, apparently, if you press the trigger twice, you also get an uh, extra burst of steam, stronger steam. Okay, so here I am. Now, I'm not doing a proper job here. I'm just showing you. So this shirt is 
double, so I haven't pulled it over the edge of the board. So I'm hiding one side. I don't know if you could really see, but I'm just showing you. I've got the creases out that side, and it's gone through to the other side. So you could actually iron just one side of the shirt all the way through, but you have to line it up properly, and I find that a bit annoying. So here again, it's just lovely smooth, generating plenty of steam. Sometimes you're better to press the steam trigger, trigger some steam and then iron without the steam because what can happen is the shirt can get damp and if you iron it without the steam button on it dries it a little bit as you go. So you don't have to press the steam button constantly. There we go, look at that. And then whoosh off the side. I love that feature. I love being able to leave it face down on the board. Especially when you're doing a big pile of ironing and you're not having to tip, tilt it back all the time. It's amazing how much easier it is, especially if you've got your shoes with your hands or your wrists. You can also leave the iron resting on the base unit. So if you had the base unit on your board, if your board's designed for that, um, you can just put it back on the base unit when you're not using it. Oh, look at me. I even did the sleeves. So yeah, really easy. Again, let's not judge my ironing technique. I'm just giving you an idea of how it works. See, that makes me really nervous actually watching that iron just sitting there on the board, but I can guarantee it does not burn. You can use it on any fabrics from um, quite delicate up to, you know, your heavy sort of cottons and linens and things like that. There's no temperature setting, so apart from being able to set it onto a maximum, um, it just self-adjusts apparently. So here I'm going to put on the auto feature and what that does is, there it is, so when you press that button, it generates steam while you're moving and when you stop, it stops producing steam. I don't tend to use that feature, I prefer to use the manual trigger. It can be a little easy to accidentally press that uh, button on top while you're ironing. That's one thing I think I'd like them to change. But overall, absolutely love this iron. It is a breeze. 